Hey guys, this is the Fort Worth Glock guy, and I thought I would do a um, little video on this Maxpedition Mini. Um, it's kind of the mid-size version of their um, their trio, I guess, of uh, pocket organizers. There's the Micro, which is a little bit smaller, and then there's the EDC or the Fatty, which is a little bit bigger. This is just kind of the mid-size one, and I was messing around with it earlier. Um, reorganizing it and I thought you know what I want to see how much crap I can uh, cram into this thing and uh, it really surprised me how much stuff I could just cram in this thing as small as it is it's about six inches um, tall and about four inches wide and as you can see it's <coughs> excuse me about two inches thick right now because I've crammed so much stuff in it so um, again, this is not my typical loadout. This is not what I normally carry around. And um, by no means would this fit in your pocket comfortably, even if you're wearing cargoes. Um, but I just was messing around and wanted to see how much stuff I could cram in. So let me show you what I got. So right off the top, I've got some uh, hand cleaning wipes and an off uh, towelette, okay? And then here's everything that's in the organizer itself, just in all the little pockets. And I'm gonna go through this um, to show you everything that's in here. So I'm gonna kinda go from left to right here. Um, <clears throat> first, right off the top, this, on this little key hook, I've got a little whistle, and I've got a um, SanDisk um, eight gig little thumb drive. On the, on the left side, I've got a Sharpie marker. I've got a pair of nail clippers. Um, and notice that all of this stuff is uh, holding what's in behind. I've got all these items and it's holding this in place. Um, I've got a couple old school cross pens, um, pen and a pencil set. <clears throat> I've got another Sharpie pen. It's just the um, thin version. I've got a bit extender, which that goes to this cobalt ratcheting um, screwdriver set. So that's what that is. And then behind here <clears throat> were all the bits that go to that screwdriver set. So as you can see, I've got a ton of bits here, ton of tools. So that's awesome. Um, behind here, I've got a little bit of Gorilla Tape just wrapped around, um, I think one of those mini uh, key fobs that go to uh, like a convenience store or, or whatever, your rewards card. <clears throat> behind here, I've got a travel size Kleenex. Moving on to the right side, I've got some Burt's Bees. Always handy to have this time of year. Um, clipped to the little ring right here. I've got a Solitaire LED, which is a very bright version. It is not your old school grandpa's uh, Solitaire. Dev, uh, Maglite has definitely stepped up their game. <clears throat> Small mini Bic lighter. A Leatherman Micra multi-tool. A Kershaw Scallion. Nice little backup blade. Um, and then behind here, I've got some Neosporin to go. Always handy to have when you have kids. Back in this pocket here, <clears throat> I've got this pill container. It's originally by Dramamine, um, and it, the reason I kept this is because of the size of it. As you can see, it's just a tiny bit bigger than your average little chapstick tube, and um, great way to store some extra like headache medicine, um, you know, whatever medicine you need to take, you know, it's a great way to store it. Very small package there. And then, <clears throat> okay, so this is why I love YouTube. 
Um, this is not my idea. I'm not claiming it is my idea. So, um, but this is why I love YouTube. Um, I watched a video, I forget when it was, a week or two ago about um, someone storing a bunch of their items in one of these um, wallet picture window holder thingies. And I thought it was a brilliant idea. So in this little small compact area, I've got a, another off towelette. I've got some more wipes. I've got band-aids of the large variety. I've got band-aids of the small variety. More here. I've got big band-aids. <clears throat> I think I've got three of those in that window. In this window, I've got two gauze um, packets. And then in this last window, I have um, one of those bags that you get at the grocery store for your fruits and vegetables. Um, big bag, I'd say, Maybe not quite a gallon size, but pretty big. Um, and as you can see, it just is compact because those, those things are so thin and so lightweight, very easy to just um, fold up and put in one of these things. Comes in very handy. <clears throat> you could use the bag for many purposes, um, you know, just from trash to um, collecting water if you needed to in an emergency situation. Um, you know, you could have a gallon size bag of water, I guess. So anyways, I just thought that was really cool how much stuff you could cram into one of these taut, small little um, Maxpedition um, organizers. Oh, there's one other thing, and this is another one. This is why you gotta love YouTube. Um, <clears throat> if you notice right here and right here, these are a zip tie. And it's one of the small zip ties. It's about a four inch zip tie. It's not a big one, but this is another video that I was watching um, where I believe it was called um, storing a hundred items inside your Maxpedition um, organizer. <clears throat> and he pointed out that right here and right here along the seams, there's a little gap. And th this was the perfect size to put one of these little zip ties so you always have a couple little zip ties with you because zip ties as we all know can come in very handy which i thought was brilliant and i loved the idea so i i incorporated that into um my little system here too now again this is not my normal loadout um, this is actually a little bit heavier than i'd like it to be um, but i just wanted to see how much stuff i could cram in here and as you can see it's quite a big um, variety of items there. So just wanted to share that with you. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. Fort Worth Clock Guy.